Uh, so hi everyone. Today I will try to explain you the uh, the basic codes for the Streamlit app that I that I built for my data science portfolio. That was so popular that it was also mentioned by the dev uh, advocate on at Streamlit. So let's get started. You uh, you will find the Git repo and the portfolio link in uh, in the description below, alongside the uh, a demo video as there are some issues going on with the uh, app right now. For now. You can go through this particular video that I provided the link in to see how the portfolio looks finally. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, I would be importing all the required libraries. The libraries to mention uh, are Streamlit uh, pill for loading images, Streamlit underscore timeline that I would be using to create a carousel sort of an effect, Plotly for plotting out plots, and Streamlit dot components dot version one. So basically, these would help us to integrate LinkedIn and stack overflow profiles so let's get started so first of all i will try to explain you how i build this sidebar so in streamlit we have a sidebar option where we can uh, either write text using streamlit.sidebar.write or add a button as well now there is a download button as well uh, that i have added so that is again a feature direct feature of uh, linkedin streamlit.sidebar.download button where you can add a text to display the file that should get downloaded and name of the file so any major feature of Streamlit that you wish to add to the sidebar, you just need to mention as streamlit.sidebar rather than streamlit.download button. So in that case, that element goes into the sidebar. The rest of the things have been written on the sidebar like the caption, the email ID as you can see here, all have been written using sidebar.write or sidebar.caption. LinkedIn and Stack Overflow batches that I've added as you can see here in the screenshot using streamlit.components.html so I provided my uh, STM. Uh, there is a JavaScript file that you need to generate. Uh, so there is a separate video on how I've integrated LinkedIn and Stack Overflow profiles, where I've got this JavaScript snippet from the respective uh, websites, and then I have integrated them using a streamlit.components.html given a specific height. So you can go through these videos on my channel, and eventually you can understand how LinkedIn and Streamlit and Stack Overflow profiles can be embedded. Now, uh, talking about the career snapshot. So, career snapshot was that carousal thing that I was talking about that I've built using a timeline, uh, streamline underscore timeline library. So, in that case, I need to generate a timeline.json file which incorporates the date, uh, the description for the event, event, and the image for the event. And eventually, using that timeline function, I have created this particular uh, timeline where you can swipe through my career uh, highlights. Now, again, uh, for a uh, better description for a detailed description you can follow one of uh, you can go and watch one of my videos on create timelines in streamlit where i've told you uh, how you can create that json file and how you can use it directly now the next section is skills and tools so skills and tools is pretty easy i have added streamlit buttons first of all i've divided this whole section into five columns using streamlit.columns so that any element that i add at a specific column should be uh, evenly spaced and i should be able to add only five buttons per uh, row now the second thing is for each column I have added a button uh, and mentioned the uh, uh, the skill that I wish to enter so for example column 0 dot button data science column uh, column 1 uh, dot button RDBMS so in this way I am able to arrange all these buttons so for each and every row I am uh, creating this columns object first and then in each uh, in, in each element of this columns object I am adding this uh, file uh, adding this name of the Skill, the skills and tools that I have used. The, the third, the next section is education. So I have created a simple table here where I mentioned my qualification stream, year, institute, and score. So basically, this has been generated using Plotly code. So in Plotly, uh, using the go dot figure, I have uh, tried to plot a go table, and I've added all the required colors. And then using streamly dot plotly underscore chart function, I am displaying this figure. So uh, first I created this particular table using uh, Plotly and then using the feature from streamlit.plotly underscore chart I'm displaying this Plotly chart. The next was uh, the next is research paper section. So you all might not be having this section but just to tell you. So basically there are certain HTML components that I've used here like for underlining uh, the stuff. These icons I have directly used uh, so they haven't been generated by any method. Here you can see some expander also. So when you click that, you see the detail about the uh, research paper. So there are two such papers that I've added. So first of all, I'll talk about the component of interest in this particular section. One is st.markdown. So st.markdown helps us to uh, render HTML code snippets. 
so uh, this particular heading giving it an underline i have done using st, uh, st dot markdown st represent for stream dot right where you need to mention uh, unsafe underscore allow underscore html equals to true for rendering and then there is st dot expander as i told you this expander has been mentioned where i have entered the uh, default text at detailed description so once you click on the plus sign uh, it expands down to this you get certain images you get certain metrics around the image uh, around the particular paper and you can also download paper so again download paper is basically the download functionality that i used earlier for my resume also i'm using the same functionality the image has been rendered using <coughs> similar dot image and the metrics that i'm presenting here as you can see that a major metric and then a small metric uh, representing the increase in the numbers has been represented using st dot metrics command next is achievement section so this is nothing but again i have used st dot markdown for this bullet list sort of a thing the next section is a uh, medium profile so i have a medium profile as well as you know uh, so it's a bit tricky that uh, because i was using some sort of web scrapping so that i can scrap my profile at that time uh, at that particular time to get the follower the following and the publication followers alongside my latest blogs so i think you might not require this but still if you wish to go through it you can uh, using request.get you can get your medium profile your publication profile and then you can web scrap for your followers and following now uh, you, an html cloth snippet has been generated using medium widget generator so earlier it used to work i am not very sure whether this is working or not so it helps once you integrate that uh, HTML code snippet using st.markdown, you should be able to render your latest blogs in this particular section. Now the next section was a daily routine graph that I tried using GraphWiz. So again, uh, this can be generated very easily and I have a video on this also and you can go and check how you can create graphs using GraphWiz. So basically you need to understand how you can use GraphWiz library first by creating a diagram, digraph. And then using streamlit.graphwiz underscore chart, you can render this particular graph on your streamlit app. The last section in the portfolio was two sample GANs that I trained. So the first of all, I am selecting, I am to, I am putting a choice between the two models that you wish to try out using st.radio. Now there is a slider that I have provided where you can provide number of samples you wish to generate, and then images are rendered. Similarly for a cycle GAN uh, that I have trained, I am providing a drop down. To select whether which type of cycle can you wish to use and which samples out of the given samples you wish to sh show a conversion so streamly dot radio streamly dot slider and streamly dot multiple select so here we have used a multi select where you can use multiple images uh, for seeing the results have been used uh, to generate this particular section so this was just a brief code view, uh, overview so that you can understand which elements uh, use which streamlit component to get rendered on the app for a detailed discussion you can go to my uh, github repo and understand the codes there